Hello everybody, Brian here from uh, quantlabs.net. Uh, today is uh, June 1st, hours away from my uh, uh, webinar. I haven't uh, done anything to my meetup groups in a while, so I just want to talk about uh, all that. So if you are interested, and it is, you're watching on Monday, June 1st, 2020, 3.34 Eastern Standard Time, my time, that's right now, uh, you can go over to my YouTube channel and uh, click on a link in one of the videos here. I'll get this up and running in a minute. So right here, I've been building the mega trading bot, as I call it, with five strategies. I'll go over that in a minute. Um, but uh, one of the things I've got here is if you look for the video on my YouTube channel, Quant Labs, you will see a video I've got called Mega Crypto Trading Bot Settings. I'll be talking about that tonight. This is part of the bot that I'll be showing in this video right now. Um, and uh, let's uh, get to that now. All right, so I have here the top performers. These are just general crypto pairs that have been performing over the last, let's say, uh, three, four uh, hours. And some of them are no-name performers. Right now, uh, as you know, the weighted average that I use for the metrics. Hey everybody, is, Brian here, 4.15 oh, today on May 30th, 2020. Okay, shut uh, up. I just wanted to... All right, so what we have here are the performers here. And um, what we've got here is, uh, namely, 180-day change, the one-day change by percent. But what we really focus on is the price change hourly, okay? 30-day change, 365, seven-day change, 90, uh, and so on. So this little spreadsheet I have won't be available for my uh, customers, but this is really important to be able to determine which ones are performing really well. You can see here in a flat market which ones are doing pretty good with our weighted average. I've talked about this enough. It's just barely over 0 0.01 or one-tenth percent. And uh, it's not very strong. But um, when you look at our star performers, it's just Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin right now at two-tenths of a percent. So um, when you come back here under the uh, ontology QTOM, these have been our current strong performers. These are fairly strong performers for the day. And then we also get some other ones like this gas and some other ones that perform really well. So these are the top four ones that have been performing pretty good. So we have Matic. Uh, what's the, so that's Matic, Algo. So there's some up and coming coins that I've been looking at that are doing okay. And then we have... Um, Adam, that's another one that's doing quite well. Waves can do okay when the markets are flat. Dash, that's a private coin. And earlier I noticed that uh, some of the other big private coins like uh, EOS and, um, and uh, Monero uh, were performing pretty good. But these, these are the big performers. But let's not worry about those on a short-term basis. What I think we should look at is the, I haven't done this in such a long time, wouldn't it be better just to uh, look at uh, the performers on right now year to date? So we can look them up and confirm them in the world of uh, TradingView. A lot of people want me on TradingView and blah, 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 blah. I really don't have a need for TradingView. So let me see here what we can do. Okay, so we are going to sort by percent change year to date. And uh, so year to date is, what are we looking at here? Year to date, okay, so I reverse it. So let me just uh, go back to here and sort again, but in reverse, largest to smallest. So here's the ones that we should be uh, watching. Okay, these are the ones I can confirm that I've seen do quite well as I've developed this bot, this, this mega trading bot. And uh, you'll know more about that later tonight at 7 o'clock if you watch that. So see, these are the big performers here. 
according to year to date. So we have T fuel up 257%. Theta is another one I've been watching. ICX, OMG, ENG, um, ADA, Cardano. Link is still up. Uh, Tezos is doing well. And you can see they're, they're doing okay. But when you look at these other ones, these are like doubling since the beginning of the year. Bitcoin S, uh, oh, there's a Bitcoin S. I've never seen this before. Bitcoin S H. That will piss off the BSV people for sure. Uh, anyways, it doesn't matter. So these are the ones that we can look at. So let's pull up Trading View here and uh, see what we uh, come up with. And I'll just look at them in the world of uh, USDT as a stable coin. So the first one I wanted to show is, uh, come on, I think my system's just getting clobbered as usual. So we have uh, the first one we'll look at is, I've seen this pretty consistently, is T-Fuel. So that's up 257%. Uh, T-Fuel, T-Fuel, let's see, T-Fuel. USDT. I don't know what exchanges is for. It doesn't really matter. But these are your buy and hold uh, ones that have been doing really well. Uh, we might be too late in the game, but if you held and you bought into these particular coins at the beginning of the year, you would have been up 257%. So you can see here from 0 0.002 to 0 0.008, that, that's a huge rise. And that is um, on a, uh, so there's some kind of news that has really pushed that up. So, so since the beginning of May, this could be a, a pump and dump one. So you can see here, it's gone up quite a bit. All right, so let's look at uh, another one here. Um, this one I've seen quite a bit, Theta as well. Theta USDT. Okay, so we see here Bitcoin. So these are all Binance, it looks like. Uh, so we can trade these on Binance. As you know, Binance is my exchange of choice. And I'm going to look at the intraday ones that have been performing quite well. So again, you can see here the up moves are just astronomical. I mean, so from 0 0.005 to 40, so that's up like 800%, roughly. 0 0.05 to 0 0.4, 800% in a matter of two months. Isn't that incredible, these kind of rises when you get uh, the meltdowns we've been having in the markets, oil, uh, oil, ICX is another one. Uh, you know, all the other, in the, in the stock market globally is, is just, I mean, you got here certain coins that have been up. Uh, so here we have Icon, ICX, another one. have been just performing really well when the market started to melt down. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I, I do trade crypto and only crypto for these type of just price moves up. Look at this. So we are down from 0.1 up to uh, half a percent, or 0 0.5. <coughs> Excuse me. So, it's just, I mean, you're looking at a 0 0.5 in January, roughly, all the way up to uh, five times. Uh, it's just amazing. I mean, I have here from um, March 15th, just alone up to, uh, if you want to get really... 0.16 to 0.35 at its peak in the last month, two months, or since March. And that's gone up, uh, was it 0.18 to just, I'd say, double. And the one that I've been watching is OMG. OMG, let's see that one. So these are probably coins you've never heard of. Okay? And uh, that's why I'm, I'm highlighting them. This one's a fairly well-known one. This can be found on Coinbase. Just uh, incredible what's out there. 
to trade now that we have the ability to uh, do what we're doing because um, I'm seeing this as I've been building out the bot so here um, 1.7 all the way up to 1.9 not as big I mean, that's still a, a big jump you know that's still a big jump um, and then we'll look at uh, Ada Cardano Chainlink so everyone's been putting their focus on uh, Cardano sorry Chainlink and, and XTZ but these other ones have been just been doing incredible. If you've been watching that scumbag over at London Real and his scumbag guy, you're going to spend $3,000 on what are the coins to watch. Well, I just went over them. ZIL's another one. We'll look at it in a minute. So you could save yourself a few thousand dollars by not needing to be sucked into that crap at uh, $3,000 or whatever the idiot's charging the scammer that he is. Okay, let's look at Cardano. Okay, so ADA. Um, let's see here. We got Kraken. Uh, let's just look at Kraken. Zeta Cardano against the US dollar. So those earlier ones I've shown you have just done absolutely incredible. And I'm only showing you these ones because these are the ones that have been doing really good. So here, since 16th of March, we are up at 0.02. And it's gone up four times, Cardano. Absolutely incredible run up there on Card Cardano is another one. Um, let's see how Chainlink and XTC have been doing, Tezos. Uh, some of those you may know. So link against uh, Cardano. Let's see if we could find uh, Binance. It doesn't matter. Let's just do Kraken against uh, the US dollar and the performance would be similar if it's against USDT or Tether because it's supposed to be synchronized to the dollar, US dollar. So again from April $2 to 436 so it's doubled since April so it's done really well it's doubled here from January till uh, March Okay, and then it's doubled again. Or pretty well. It's pretty well double right there. Two times it's doubled this year. Amazing. And then let's take out uh, XTZ. But as I said, we've had other ones that go up um, four times. So we have here XTZ against the U.S. dollar. Crack it again. I could easily turn on my crack and bot if I wanted, but. I don't know. Again, similar story. I bet you, buck thirty-four, buck thirty, uh, three sixty-five. That's gone up double, more than double actually. And again, it's doubled again. So clearly, very, very strong performers here uh, among just these two doubling twice. Absolutely stunning. You could have done really well. Okay, so the one I want to show you is this one, ZIL, which I've seen a lot of. Uh, let's see here, ZIL, um, yeah, let's use, this is Binance against, against Tether. So for any fool out there that wants to trade the markets, Forex, commodities, I really think that you're foolish to not pay attention to this because you're, I'm showing you examples of doubling, not just doubling, the doubling twice. I'm showing you another one that's gone up uh, 800% eight times. Very small. So we've gone from here 0 0.004 all the way up to uh, 0 0.017. So that has now gone up 400% in a matter of 23, 23rd. So that's gone up uh, in roughly a month, over a month. Four times. <laughs> I still got a buy signal. Amazing. All right, so that is long-term. Those are the long-term performers, and, and you will not see any of the big ones. Okay, you have Zcoin here, Zcash, Dash, Ethereum. They've done well, but why would you do well when you could go after bitter, bigger performers? So as an example, let's start looking at the one-hour moves, these guys right here. So I... Gonna re I'm going to sort these again. All right. 
Oh, it really saddens me to see people not look into this and only trade this stuff. But I just couldn't care less if, if they miss out. It's not my problem. And if they come back to me, I will go over the solutions that we will go over on this. Okay, so we've now sorted out the um, by hour. Okay, I did that wrong. All right, so give me, oh. As you know, I'm sure a lot of people are laughing at me about my Excel skills. I'm not an expert here, nor do I care about that. So we want largest to smallest, and we want it to be a price change of one hour, okay? So we want largest to smallest. Here we go. So these are our latest moves here. So here are the ones that we should really pay attention to. Ontology, QTOM, Magic, and Algo. Let's see how they performed um, long term. So the first one we can trade on the futures market. Uh, Ontology, Tether, that's Binance again. That's what we, we kind of want to see. Let's see how Ontology is doing overall. This one's been doing not bad, especially in a smaller market. Yeah, it's not doing too good, but still uh, 0 0.32 up. Uh, oh, well, hold on, 0 0 0.31, and it's up at around 0 0.64. So does that mean um, it's double? Maybe it, uh, well, so you got 0 0.3. Uh, either way, it's not done, but it's a strong buy right now. And uh, let's look at uh, QTUM. <laughs> Let's do the daily. So there you go. It's gone from 0.55 up to 0.61 as a peak. So that's gone up just over 10% in from 12 p.m. So in three three hours, sorry, in, in was that uh, nine hours, it's gone up about over 10%. Pretty good. Next one, we'll do Q -tum. Okay, let's do QTOM as well. This one you can also trade on the futures market in uh, Binance. Uh, this one right here, Binance again. So these are good performers right now. Again, 351 my time. Come on. So this one's not been moving. That's why I don't pay a lot of attention to it. Uh, but look at that strong buy on the hour daily move. See here from uh, 175 all the way up to 190. So you know that's a 10% move again. That's pretty strong. I haven't even looked at what the markets have been doing today. So let's see how they're doing. Is it moving over 10%? Mm, probably not. So just by holding those two, you'd be up 10% in one day. Um, so here, this is pretty pathetic. We have uh, S&P up half a percent, NASDAQ up 0.72%, and people are going to think, well, I'm making millions. Uh, well, here you go. Russell's, the, the smaller, are doing better. Let's see how the other uh, assets are doing out there. It's supposed to be on fiber optic. All right, so crude oil up point quarter percent. Euro, this is this is a joke. Quarter percent. Well, gold is up. Well, silver's they've been talking about silver's doing really well. That's pretty good. One point eight two percent. VIX is up two point eight seven percent. Crypto space is only up three four tenths percent. Bitcoin up one point four four. So I'm showing you two coins that just moved up 10% since this morning. Um, I don't know. Jeez, I don't know why people are not doing this. Matic. Matic right here. So that is, what's our symbol name here? Matic and Algo. I'm seeing these, I think I've seen Matic a few times, but not a lot. Let's just see how it's been performing.
I'm going to show you now the files, the JSON files that are generated from my newer upgraded bot. As I said, I'll be going over the settings tonight at 7 p.m. If you want to do, check that out. It's only three hours away. Uh, let's see. So how's our technical? Yeah. So it's a buy. One day. Not as strong. Um, year to date. It's not very strong, but though, oh, actually, that's pretty good, actually. Year to date, March. So 0.01 to 0.026. That's up. 2.6 times, 2.5 times, that's pretty good. Not one of the stronger performers, but um, I have to tell you, those are pretty impressive stats. So let's get into the uh, back end here of the uh, service. So I've not shown this before. This is fairly new that I've got. So we have two parts to this bot. This is the server side. Um, this is what gets generated, and I have the five uh, strategies in place, and I met, everything is with um, with JSON files. So we have these five strategies, which I'll talk about again tonight. Here we have um, this one right here, uh, which we will look at. Let me just uh, clear that up. All right, so we have here FTT. I've seen that a few times. These are potential positions, depending upon how you could figure um, the other end uh, at your side, on the client side. Let's see if this comes up. FTT Therapeutics Limited. This guy right here, FTX. See how this, this I've seen quite a bit of. Let's see how this one's performing. These are little little ones that uh, so this is the exact pair that we could trade right now. So you can see here since December it's gone from a buck twenty to three twenty. So if any idiot out there says that crypto is no good, I mean, psh, I've only shown you uh, charts that have been doing really well. So it's a buy signal uh, on the one day. Let's check out this. So. Here's where I, I worry about. You can clearly see there's probably not enough volume here to be manipulated, but it's these these move ups that you want to take full advantage of. So you're going from 2.93 to let's say at a peak of 3.0, so that um, maybe a third of a percent. Not great, but um, who knows where that will go. And that's just one example on the back end of how this the thing works. Um, so these are the ones that are meeting my basic entry potential. But if I go over to the um, to the client side, which would be what uh, the customers would download for the service once we get it up and running. Let me just see here what we have here in the JSON side. So, yeah, we don't have anything new today to report. Uh, let's just see. Okay, so I'm just testing the positions here. This is nothing that's been taken yet. There was, uh, I think it was yesterday, EOS was, was moving quite a bit. Let's just see how that's been doing. Uh, USDT, cracking, crypto crack. Here we go. I don't know how they pick these exchanges off on uh, trading view. But we got uh, come on EOS market cap crypto crap. Let's go with this one. I, I've never heard of this one. Now you know why I don't like using trading view. It's just I don't know. So EOS USDT. Okay, so this is one of the bigger ones, but this was moving yesterday. So we'll just factor in yesterday. So let's do a five day. No thanks.
So what are we doing here? It's not giving me a one day. Wow. That's okay. We have other methodologies to get these type of charts later on once I build them out. Um, so in a way, that is uh, what's been happening in the world of crypto. Um, some of the movers today, uh, I'll be tracking uh, the PL on some of the positions as they take place. Right now it's very quiet because the uh, markets are very, very uh, tight. Uh, you can see here, as I said, it's might start moving in the next few hours. I might do a snapshot on the webinar tonight at 7. So if, again, you want to know more about that, just go over to the uh, chat, chat, or sorry, to the um, YouTube Quant Labs channel on YouTube, and you'll get the details there if you want to know more about it. Look for that video highlighted. So that's pretty well it. Um, and hopefully we'll see you on that chat or on the webinar. And just go under, I don't know, Mega Trading Bot right here. And then there's a link Hi everybody, this is Brian from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to go and over the next a quick two minutes, I'm going to show you why I would choose this $2,000 uh, camera. Hopefully helping you to... Wow, those gurus are really not a ticky off. Anyways, we'll just leave it at that, but that's a pretty strong start to show you what's been going on since the beginning of the year. One of more details, uh, one way to go about it is just join the blog. And in there, you will find uh, a way to uh, join everything as it stands right now. Just uh, going over to uh, here. Uh, any of these, the quantlabs.net. Uh, and then you, you can subscribe through that. All right, we shall talk to you later. Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you online later tonight.